In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool search bar animation in Canva in just a few minutes. And I think it really adds that little extra touch to your creative designs for your products. So this could really grab the attention of the audience. Now, if you want to save some time and effort in Canva, I also make fully made templates, which you can use and download via the link in the description below. And we're starting from a blank canvas. First, we want to add a nice picture to the design. So we go to the elements tab and here we want to type in hamburger. Go to photos, see all and then choose any picture that you want, or use your own picture, of course. Once you have found your picture, you can just drag it and add it to the slide. Here, I want to create a duplicate of the slide. And on this one, I want to remove the background. Let's see if it removes everything, but we only want the first burger. So for that, we go to Edit, Magic Wrap, and here we want to select the burger. So there's two options. Once you can use Click or Brush, I think the Click selection will do quite a good job, and we can grab the burger. Let the Magic Wrap do its work, and then we can drag it to the side. We can remove the picture, and this one we can use on the previous design. We go back to the first picture, and now let's look for search bar. See if we can find a nice one, maybe in the graphics section. Let's try if we can narrow it down to Google. And here, let's add this Google search bar to the design. We can increase it in size, because it's going to be a main element anyways. Let's position it on the right, and we're going to add some text layer on top of it with best burger in town we place it on the search bar for the font we want something light because it resembles the search bar functionality we can increase it a bit in size so that it's easy to read and it sort of fits the search bar we want to add a rounded rectangle below let's look for a shape shapes see all and then choose that rounded rectangle increase it in size until we meet the rounded corners of the previous one let's make it the same color as the drop down, maybe something slightly darker. So I'm going to select that color, make it a bit darker and then position layers and drag it below the existing bar. And here we can copy the text box and you can type in your company name. You know what? Maybe I'm going to change this to the same color, but what we want to do is either add some shadow to this. So I'm going to shadow, go to photos, select this one and add it below. If it's too much, you can always go for graphics. And I think here you have a better selection or a more extensive selection. So let's look for those. Try to fit it, meeting it from the left side and expanding it all the way to the right side. This already looks quite good. Position, let's add it below. So you can always increase it or like move it up a little bit to narrow it down or to reduce the intensity or you can reduce the intensity here. So you can choose both options. I'll reduce the intensity by just a bit. And I think that looks quite good. Next, we want to have the selection here. So I'm going to add a shape again. Let's go for shapes, rounded rectangle. Let's try that and make a nice selection within that first menu or let first drop out. And this one, we're going to give it the darker fill. So select that color, click it, and then make it slightly darker. Like it's a selected option position. Make sure it's below the shadow as well. And maybe we decrease the roundness of the corner so that it nicely fits the box. Like it's an item on the search bar that is being selected. I think we can group those together. Let's open the position tab. Your company name, let's drag that below. So we can group those three together. Control G. And these, we can always group together. Control G. Maybe let's ungroup these for a second. And we want to select that background layer and reduce it so we can hide it perfectly behind the first bar in a second just like this and then group again now let's look for a cursor go to graphics and select that click cursor drag it to about 30 degrees make it a bit smaller or a bit larger and then position it on the right side now what we want to do is we want to add it slightly behind the burger so i'm going to increase the picture size so that the burger slightly overlaps copy that burger from the previous slide paste it on top and now just scale it until it meets the original size add some edit shadows drop shadow and then we have to resize it again it doesn't have to be perfect but we don't want to see the edges too clearly so in the shadow section you can always play around with the blur size oops let's put that back in the angle so it's dropping to the top right distance we can reduce it and the intensity as well and then position it where it belongs 
and this way it gives a nice drop shadow. So it's already a pretty cool effect that we have here. We can delete this slide and now let's see if we can animate it. So we duplicate the page and here we have two grouped elements. So let's go to position. We have the best burger in town. That one we want to animate with a nice pop animation. Let's reduce the speed. And then the second group, we want to animate it and then make sure that it's a, a rise animation, but we do it from the top so that it sort of drops down. Let's also reduce the speed. And then the cursor, we're going to animate it and we can do a, a rise or a drift animation. I think let's do this from the left side until we move over the company name. Reduce the intensity and let's preview that. And this is how you can make this really cool design in Canva in just a few seconds. And I think it really adds that cool creative touch to your designs. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.